Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hatsusti, and welcome back to Factorio, where we are once again at a standstill in our research because we don't have enough space science uh, queued up. But I guess we will get the space science eventually and then we will probably run out of uh, of the yellow ones because if we have a look at production we can see we're producing around 80 uh, space science per minute um, and from all the other ones we're producing less or for most other ones and I think blue that's mainly because we don't need that much but purple and uh, yellow that's a bit worrying that's about around 30 per minute and I would like to have everything at least at 60 per minute before we expand even more and <coughs> last time we did some fixes by hooking up more iron patches because we saw that a lot of the iron ore station delivering the ore there were just not any trains delivering the ore um, so we added a few more stations and now that looks good stations are idle blue which means train is sitting there or coming or red meaning ooh, we have enough or uh, no train needed so what we are looking for are stations that are white uh, which means we are waiting for a train but there's no train coming and if we look at the yellow ones we have these here so these are all the same stations and it's the copper one if you look at the at the uh, purple signs it's also the copper one uh, where we are missing and if we look at our map we have a pitiful uh, copper field up here we have a larger one down there but we only can load two trains so I think the next step is just adding more fields so that the, the trains are not hampered uh, because they don't have enough uh, uh, ore to deliver uh, but the bottleneck is actually within the factory where we are not producing things fast enough. Factory should never stand still because there are no raw resources. And looking at the, at the situation with uh, copper, we have large field here, large field there, uh, and some smaller fields up here so I think we'll hook that one up maybe this one um, and I don't think we need to expand the uh, the grid uh, that much more so we will just have double double line going out there um, and if we need to expand in that direction we can uh, pull down the, the rail and do that properly um, Here for coal that's actually the situation that we want to have train sitting at the loading station fully loaded uh, But not going because all the destinations are full meaning there is no train stations that actually require coal and um, we want to achieve that with uh, with all the ores as well. Um, it's probably a bit more difficult than than for coal, but 
let's hook some more fields up and uh, then we can see how we progress towards that goal. Two additional uh, copper patches, copper fields are hooked up, this one here and this one up here as we have seen. But if we look at the pollution here on this side, it's extending into unknown territory. Also down here over the water, uh, we might see some alien action there. I mean, down here, we could easily build a wall uh, over this, this land bridge here and uh, defend that quite easily. But up here, there's quite a bit of, of land that we have to contend with. And another thing that I did with uh, these stations is, as we earlier did for the iron ore, I hooked up a bit of uh, automation so the train stations get disabled if there is not enough ore here for a train to fill up. But I guess we will just head up uh, and see uh, what's there beyond the border of our current visibility uh, just to make sure there are no bad surprises. Ooh, a tiny nest here at the coastline should not be a big issue uh, with our lasers and our spider. It might be a good idea to upgrade the existing stations also with a bit of uh, logistics. Um, so that we can better control the flow of our trains. Let's copy this to there. And then let's head down to here. Um, where we can then add the logistics on the last on the last train stations for copper ore and with the two additional fields that we have added for copper that should make an impact on our delivery and we will shortly see how big that impact is and uh, what else we need to do uh, where we have our next uh, shortage that we should address. Looking around the map uh, I can see quite a lot of red dots, some blue dots, still some white. These up here not that troublesome. Here white ones are actually good because those are the pickup stations. So we see we have two stations that have enough uh, uh, science packs to load onto a train. And if we look, we probably still are lacking a bit on the, uh, on the copper, but maybe it needs a bit of time to backfill all the needs that that we had created. If we look for example here uh, for iron, we can see there is a train waiting um, at the loading station for the ore, but there is no station to go to, meaning all the stations that need iron are fully supplied. And I expect that to happen for copper also pretty soon um, once we have figured um, uh, all this out have delivered enough because now here we can see um, all red here all red here we still need copper um, here 
we also need copper here we need copper so there are still a few stations that need copper but I would say uh, we are on a good way so let's see our production and let's bring up production for yellow signs there you can see we are on an upward trend and uh, especially in the last 20 minutes it was basically constantly going going up if we look at it over the last uh, 10 hours um, we had been higher here at at some point uh, but we are steadily uh, rising and especially if we can maintain that level of, of output uh, yeah there there you can see we almost uh, reached that peak if we can um, can keep that level of uh, uh, production then we are on a on a good way we also saw that uh, we are not producing that much of the uh, light blue science um, but at least all materials are on here um, maybe a bit not enough uh, uh, copper that could have been the case um, but then especially with the easier science packs like red green uh, military and the chemical science um, there it's probably less an issue that we are not delivering enough material but that here the output is is full everything is uh, is backed up not that well here for red suns that's that's the case so we're not producing anything due to the backing up which is a good problem to have but let's give it a time and then let's have a, a final look at how the situation developed uh, over time in the meantime we are looking pretty good well there is always the one or the other station um, for copper or delivery that is white um, it's not long the case uh, because we get deliveries going and if we have a look at our production over the last hour let's pick these three there we can see we are pretty stable we also can see there we had a dip and we had a dip on all the three signs and if we look at this side we also can see a dip there uh, in in the consumption so that's probably not something related uh, to uh, delivering materials uh, but rather uh, something to do with the lack of power and we will have a look into that shortly but what i also noticed is that every once in a while we do have a loading station that has no train waiting for it even if it could and the uh, uh, interesting thing here is um, for um, iron ore we have 11 trains and um iron delivery where is it iron field iron and 20 so we have roughly for every delivery station for every two delivery station we have one train 
Um, for copper delivery, we have 17 stations. And seven train. So that's not half. So maybe um, we just add another train for the delivery. Let's add it here. And then let's grab this one and that should even out things a bit because if we look at uh, production nowadays we are producing more copper plates than iron plate and usually at the beginning of the game you need way more iron uh, than you need copper but uh, to towards the late game, so once you launching rockets, um, there it's 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 pretty pretty even. So let's see what's the issue with the with the power. We can also see that here we have these dips, and I would assume that is uh, because of the way. Uh, we control our um, our nuclear plant so let's head over there so the way we control the power production in our plants is by inserting uh, fuel cells only if we are under a certain threshold of steam and because the reactors need some time to heat up uh, before uh, power can then be generated. Uh, I think that uh, time span is too long. So uh, with the uh, 30,000 um, steam, that does not last long enough before we have heated uh, the reactors high enough uh, to produce more heat. So what we will do here is we will increase that to 50,000. And copy that over to these. have more than one million steam stored at the moment so that should not be a problem but increasing that threshold should um, prevent this from from happening again uh, anytime soon um, and you can see we are inching closer and closer towards what we are producing with our power plants and we will have to keep an eye on that as we go forward add more to our uh, factory and uh, thereby consuming more and more power but i think that will do for today hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time when we will produce even more until then, goodbye.